Now for our foxglove. Because it's such a big flower, I've laid it onto the mirror and I'm going to draw around the area that I know I need the glue. Remove the tape with the petals on. And now you can just put the glue in this area. Spread it out with your brush as usual. And again, keeping it to round about one millimeter in depth, any excess can go at the top of the mirror, which you can use to dip into as you work. There's a little bit of dry glue there, so I'm just going to get rid of that on a piece of kitchen towel. Do make sure when you are working, if you're going to be sticking anything over these lines, they must be removed. Any black lines on the surface of the mirror will show through your transparent glass. Okay, now take up your foxglove and lay it down into the glue where you want it. Really, really press down so that all those tiny pieces are stuck into the glue, especially near the top. And gently, as you're holding the pieces and through the paper, peel back the tape. Because masking tape is fairly low tack, it's not that difficult to get off. But you cannot leave it on these pieces of mosaic for any length of time. Otherwise it does stick down and it's very difficult to remove the glue residue. If any of the petals get displaced, you can go back in in a second and put those back. I've got some trumpets here left over from another project which I'm going to use in this one. So I'm going to peel them off and trim them to fit where I want them. Mark any areas that need to be trimmed. Right, make sure everything's really pressed down. There's a lot of small petals involved in this and it's easy for them to get displaced or become loose when you peel the tape off. So just keep checking. I'm going to make use of these odd petals to fill in the gaps and finish off the shape of my fox glove because it wants to be a long cone. Get right down into the bottom and fill in the tiny little gaps with the bigger pieces. At the base of the flower, the trumpets would be much larger than they are at the top. So you can chop up the bigger pieces for this area. A bit more glue where it's needed with the small brush so it doesn't get on top of the mosaic glass. Press down.
and keep going until you've built up the shape how you want it and that all your gaps are filled. You can push a piece up if you need to make a bit of room, but just make sure you don't snow plough the glue, otherwise you'll need to clean it out of the gaps. I think that's probably about it for my petals. Yeah, just check them again. Mm. This top one, it's seesawing. If you see, if I press one end, you can see it's lifting the other. So I need to remove it. I'm going to cut this one in half and then re glue it, and that should solve the problem. Bit more glue. And the other half, top part, a bit more glue again, and back in place. Now that should be quite secure. Sometimes if you've got a bend in the glass or a bit of movement, you just need to either fill it with extra glue or cut it so it lays flatter. Okay. Now to remove the glue and the black line. You need to be very careful around these petals. They're very small and loose and you've got a lot of corners to get into here. So try not to displace too many. And scrape out the line with the blade. Much easier than trying to clean it with a cloth. Again, hold your pieces in place while you go around with your blade, pulling it the excess glue. If anything gets badly knocked out of place, you can just lift it out, put some more glue on the back and put it back. And again, out with the flat line. There we go, that's looking cleaner. Now you can go and add some more foliage around the base of the foxglove. Mark anything where it needs cutting. As this is a long skinny bit, just add some onto the glass itself because you don't want to spread a great area of glue and then have to clean it all off again. Not too much because you don't want it oozing up and filling the gaps. But if you do put too much on, you can use one of the pick out tools just to remove any excess. Don't forget at the end of this to clean up all the glue off the mirror and wipe down all the tools. Just pull off the glue using tissue paper off the paintbrushes, the tweezers and the blades. Okay, that should do it.
And now you can see how your mosaic is going to look.